there's been a lot of hype with zone two lately, but most of it isn't coming from coaches who've worked with real world amateur athletes. PhD doctoral candidate Christy Storoshuk recently published in the Journal of Sports Medicine, Much Ado About Zone 2. And they looked at whether low intensity zone 2 training is truly the best way to improve mitochondrial function and cardio fitness for everyday athletes. Spoiler alert, it's not. The three key findings in their paper were zone 2 benefits are largely observed in elite athletes training massive hours. Number two, that higher intensities matter more when you have less time to train. And number three, zone two alone is not optimal for improving mitochondrial capacity or VO2 max. And folks, this is where sweet spot training shines. We've been preaching this for 20 years. You get higher mitochondrial stimulus, a bigger aerobic engine gains, fatigue you can actually recover from, and maximum return per minute training. If you've got six to 10 hours of training a week or less, Sweet Spot gives you the most bang for your buck without needing this pro level training volume. Science matters, but real world coaching experience does too. We have both. Start a free trial of Coach Cat today or hire an expert Fast Cat coach to start building your base the right way.